hi to everyone so in this tutorial we will see how to create a material view in postgres using rails migration so the thing is now i am going to create a new migration file so rails g rails g migration add customer details materialized here is my migration here is my migration file so you have a doubt uh, that why we need to use a material view in postgres so it's a nice question the thing is the for example you want to retrieve uh, data uh, uh, from uh, five different table using join so the thing is uh, for example the five different table have a, a huge amount of data for example uh, one lakh amount of data uh, it contains so the thing is if you uh, uh, joining of five, di five different table with uh, one lakh amount of data obviously it will take more number of more amount of time to retrieve the data so what material view it will help us to uh, how to solve this problem is uh, what material view it will do is it will create a cache amount of data in your disk the thing is, uh, once you execute this uh, material view qu uh, query, so every time what will happen whenever you are uh, uh, updating, uh, uh, whenever you are updating or inserting any data into the table, so it will automatically create a cache amount of data into the disk. So uh, what uh, Rails it will do, uh, Rails it will go to the disk and it will it will retrieve the data from the disk. So data already available, so it will not uh, go to the data base it will go to the disk so whenever you are executing the query using a material view it will uh, search the data from the disk not from the uh, database so this is the main uh, uh, feature of uh, material view you know uh, then what is the uh, drawback of uh, this uh, material view is the disk space so for example I have a file table I, I said I have a file table in each file table I have 1 lakh amount of data so right now I have total amount of uh, data is 5 lakh in my disk so in future if it may be 10 lakh it may be 15 lakh so what will happen in future if you uh, more amount of data uh, inserting it will uh, increase the disk space so in future uh, we may get the error like um, uh, disk overloaded so we need to uh, we need to uh, check uh, what which table I need to use and which table I don't want to use before using the material view. So you need to verify uh, the database uh, structure and use this material view. So now we'll see the migration. I mean to say now we will see the how to create a DB uh, create a, create a material view. So before that, I'd like to show you the syntax of that. So this is my syntax. You can uh, uh, this is my reference. So you can find the uh, this about uh, material view in this link. And this is my syntax. So this is the description about the material view. So here create material view. Here table name I need to mention. So here my I might I'm going to give a table name as a customer details. So here I need to mention the table name and as query. So here I need to write the query. I mean to say I said I want to uh, join all the table and I need to retrieve the data. So this is what my my uh, target. So that query I am going to write here. So here I don't have a five table. So here I have a two table. So right now what I am going to do is I write a joining query here. So now, so instead of def change, I am going to use def up and def down. So why I am going to uh, uh, migration with def up and def down method is 
so in def up i'm going to write a query for creating a material view in def down i'm writing a query for dropping the material view so in def up i'm going to write a query for creating a material view so execute so here is here i'm going to write a query so create materialized view and here is my table name so the customer detail is my table name and as as i said before so here i need to enter my query so this is my query select customers dot id as customer underscore id comma customers dot first name as first name comma customers dot last name as last name comma addresses dot street as Address that city as city. So now from customers join addresses on customers dot id equal addresses dot customer underscore id so i am joining the table name with uh, customer dot id and cust addresses dot customer id so here is the joining query so everything is done so now we have written a qu uh, query uh, for a material view now i am going to write a query for creating a unique index so for that execute create unique so here you can give any name so i am giving a in index id index name as a customer details underscore customer id so on 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 the which uh, material view so here i need to enter my material view name so here on this is the material view name and which column so here i am uh, typing as a customer id so now everything is done up is done so now i will write a, a code for down so execute drop materialized view so here i need to drop a customer detail so here this uh, material view i need to drop so this is the command so now we will execute in our uh, console rails Take TV migrate. So now everything is done. Now we will check a uh, process of uh, uh, how to retrieve the. Uh, customer details so now we'll check so now we will enter some value into the table so enter into the customers and um, first name last name values so so everything is done so now we'll check um, we'll insert the value for 
addresses table customer id comma street comma city values so here my customer id is 1 because uh, here is my uh, id value so i'm going to enter as a 1 and uh, street um, So everything is done. So that is that. So now everything is done. So right now, now I am going to execute a material view query, and using of this query, I need to uh, get the joining value. So using of the material view, I need to get the value of this two joining table value. So we'll check select star from customer details. So this is my uh, material view name. So I need to type here. So met this is my uh, table name also. So it will automatically retry. So we'll check. Yeah. So why there is no value uh, once I execute the select star from uh, database? I mean select star from customer details because the what material will view it will do. So whenever the process happen, uh, whenever the creation process happen, it will not automatically update in disk. So the value will not be automatically update in disk. For example, I'm telling, I will show, I will tell you. Uh, see I have a five two table two table so I am entering some value into two tables so once I update the value so if I go to front end if I check the value you will not get the value why because the value uh, was not updated into the disk so I need to update the value automatically in disk value so the for that uh, this is the command refresh materialized view so refresh material so now our uh, this has been refreshed now we'll check the value so here it is so once we done a refresh the value will automatically update in our days and uh, using of this query I mean your material view the uh, it will take the value from the disk and it will sh uh, show it to you so this is the concept of material view and how to uh, refresh a material view in uh, DB console so in next tutorial i will show you uh, how to automate this material view i mean to say this refresh material view using of uh, trigger and function so thanks for watching video subscribe my channel for more videos